Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Deadwater Saloon, which is a saloon builder game where we get to run our very own saloon out in the Wild West, and I think that's quite interesting, because we have played many tavern builder games, we've built quite a few ye olde taverns on the channel over the years, but I don't think we've ever built a proper Wild West style saloon, with the sort of, you know, the swingy saloon door things, and the jaunty piano music, and all the people stopping what they're doing to stare when a stranger walks in, we've never really done that, we've had plenty of medieval drinking going on with, you know, Vikings and people downing flagons of mead or whatever, but we've never really had sort of a proper Wild West kind of saloon drinking kind of thing going on. So here, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I am very much looking forward to this. Now, this is the demo of the game, and it is part of Steam's Next Fest event, which is running until the 28th of February. And of course, as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. So I think let's go, shall we? Let's mosey on into town and get our saloon up and running. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up our character, and there is quite a lot going on with the whole sort of character creation thing here. So you can choose to play as a male or female character, then you get to do some renaming. So these two top boxes here are the name of your character. This middle box here, I think, is the name of the settlement that you're setting up in, and then this box at the bottom is the name of your saloon itself. Then you get to pick a kind of generic trait type thing to apply to your character that gives you these gigantic kind of skill bonus things. So you can be handsome, calm, captivating, compassionate, devious, analytical, or daring, and then you have a number of other attribute points to spend on all of these things down here, ranging from things like, you know, gambling and cooking over to seduction and theology, which is an interesting mix. So yeah, there's quite a lot going on, and you can give yourself more attribute points, if you'd like, by dropping your health a little bit. So if you start with 100 health, you get 20 attribute points. If you just drop that down a bit, if you say, okay, I'll start with 80 health, you get 40 attribute points. But I think what we'll do is we will start with 100 health. Let's just, you know, start with a nice sort of a nice healthy character that isn't going to suddenly, you know, die in a fight or whatever. So we'll start with 100 health. But yeah, I mean, the character at the moment is called Herodotus King. Uh, in Dead Man's Glen, and the saloon is called the White Elephant. I don't think that's good enough. No, no, this is not going to do at all. Also, by the way, there's a great big load of um, sort of character portraits. There are some very interesting characters in here. I mean, yeah, there's one with a great hat. Hang on, where's the chappy with the hat? Look at that hat. That is a very impressive hat. Well done on your hat, sir. Very nice indeed. Uh, but yeah, this isn't going to do at all. So let's just change this around, I think, a bit. Let's sort of rename our character and everything else about them, and let's assign their kind of points and what have you. There we go. That is much, much improved. So we are going to play as Calamity Cupboard, because I think that's got a very good sound to it. Not Calamity Jane, of course. Absolutely not. No, this is a completely different calamitous sort of a person. But yeah, so Calamity Cupboard. And um, yeah, this is the character portrait that we've gone for solely because of the hat. This is the very best hat that's in all of the kind of character picture things. I mean, there are some other good hats. I mean, that is a nice hat. You know, it's a functional hat. But this one here, this is just very spectacular indeed. It's got a big kind of feather on it. It's got a flower. It's got some wibbly bits. And on the top here, it's got what looks like a giant sort of white pom-pom type thing. So I think we're going to play as you because you're wearing a most magnificent hat indeed. We're going to settle down in Geek Gulch because that sounds like a proper sort of wild western sort of a place. And our saloon is going to be called the really lovely place for a nice drink. We're going to try and make it a nice saloon. We're going to try and cut down on, you know, the fighting and the brawling and the stabbing and the shooting and all that kind of stuff. We're just going to make it quite a nice place for people to come along and have a lovely drink. And I've chosen the captivating kind of trait type thing because that gives us plus 20 leadership and plus 20 drama, which all sounds very exciting. But it says here, descended from a family of caravanners and theatre troops, your rich uncle has passed away and left you a title in his will, wishing it upon you to keep up the family tradition of entrepreneurship and grow a saloon of entertainments. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of our saloon being a place where people can go and you know, sort of enjoy themselves and have a sort of a fun time doing lots of different kind of entertaining things. So now we have 20 attribute points to spend. So everything starts off as 10. And then, of course, leadership and drama have been boosted to 30 because we are captivating. I mean, who wouldn't be captivating in that hat? So I think we've got finances. I think we need to um, I think we need to invest, I would say, five of our 20 points in finances because that might mean that we don't go broke quite so quickly. Um, and then possibly, I mean, what else could be, what else could be handy? Muscle might be quite handy, just maybe a couple of points in that. 
just to try and sort of maybe stop people from causing trouble. If we have a kind of a bit of a reputation as a place that doesn't take any mess, maybe people will not sort of come there to cause trouble. Um, and then, yeah, Savoir Faire. That could be quite good, couldn't it? Contributes to befriend success roles, contributes to saloon refinement rating. Oh, yeah, we'll have five points in that because we want our saloon to be nice and kind of refined. And we'll have a couple of points in medicine, I think. Um, and then how about five points in cooking? Because, you know, we want to serve nice food. Um, oh, what's mixology? Hang on. Um, contributes to saloon drink rating. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. Let's take a point out of medicine. We'll have a couple of points in the drink. Take one out. Hang on. Take two out of cooking and put two into mixology. There we go. So we have a mixology. So kind of drinks rating, if you like, of 14. Cooking of 13. Muscle of 12. Um, and then finances 15, medicine 11, because it probably doesn't do any harm to have a tiny bit more in that. And then savoir faire, because we're all very savoir faire, of 15. And then all these things down the bottom can just be normal, because that's you know, fairly straightforward sort of stuff. So yeah, okay, there we go. Right, let's begin our game and start the adventures of Calamity Cupboard. A new beginning. You are dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in the musty smell and wonder who is more insane, the man who put up such a large structure in the middle of nowhere or the one who will manage it. There are a few good things going for the place, however. A well-packed road passes right outside your building, and a newly constructed railroad track also runs nearby. There's even a well with fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be the spot of a booming town one day, with a bustling main street and a train station bringing in supplies and travellers. And maybe, just maybe, you and your saloon will survive long enough to see it happen. Okay, right, so we've arrived, but it looks like our saloon is kind of out in the middle of nowhere, although it is on a road and it is near a train track. Okay, so it's not all bad kind of stuff. Uh, right, and so yeah, there is a little kind of tutorial thing, but I did do some of the basics of that. And here we go. Here is our saloon. And I can very happily confirm that space bar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. Right, so here is the outside of our saloon. And um, yeah, it looks like a saloon. It says saloon on the top in big letters, so it must be the saloon. However, can we go and have a look inside? There we go. There's not much going on in there. It's very, very empty right now, apart from us. So Calamity Cupboard is just kind of standing around in a whole load of nothing. So I think let's get building, shall we? So what exactly do we have? So I think that's our health. So we're quite healthy. That's a kind of stress meter. So at the moment, we're not stressed out, even though we've inherited a saloon that's got nothing in it. Um, that is action points. That there is the town opinion of our character. Then we have our current money. That's our current kind of profit or loss. I mean, we're losing... 688 a day. I don't quite know why. Are we losing that on just kind of maintenance of the building, I assume? Uh, and then we kind of have, yeah, that's how many people the saloon can hold. And that is our current kind of storage capacity. And then down here, we have all sorts of different kind of things that we can buy. We've got ourselves all sorts of different foods. There's grains and light meats. And over here, we have some crude liquor and some whiskey and all that kind of stuff. But okay, let's get building, shall we? Let's get building. So we can go to down here. And we can build all sorts of exciting things. We can build rooms and doorways and windows and everything else. I don't know if right now we want to get into building extra rooms. I think, and this might surprise some people, I think we start relatively small. Because we only do have $600 to our name. Which I imagine back when this sort of game was set. Um, oh, hello. I imagine $600 was quite a lot of money. But, um, but um, yeah, okay, so a trapper. A shanty is being constructed right alongside your saloon. It would seem a roughly clothed trapper, a true Western Pathfinder, has moved into town to provide their goods. Be sure to check their wares once they open up for business. They tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game. Okay, that could be very handy. That is what we want to hear. So they've set up over here. Okay, hello. Look, the town is growing around us. That's very exciting. Okay, so hello, trapper. The trapper is called Gustav Ramirez. Hello, how are you? And I think, yeah, so we have three kind of interaction points. I think let's go and have a chat with Gustav. Let's see if we can become a bit friendlier with Gustav. And maybe, just maybe, he might drop his prices possibly. I don't know. So let's go and interact. Okay, right. So there are quite a lot of things we can do. I think these are generally bad things. So we can rob him, duel him or murder him. Okay, that would be kind of, that would be bad. Let's not do that. Are these the nice ones? Yeah. There we go. So we can befriend you. We can regale you. 
We can romance him. Oh, okay. We can propose. Okay, that might be a little bit forward. We might need to go and say hello first. Uh, we can divorce. Of course, we can't do that right now. Um, or we could entice. Okay, this is all very intriguing. What's that there? Investigate. We could sue them or we could blackmail them. Again, let's just do nice things, shall we? Um, maybe. Let's regale them. Let's go and sort of, I know, tell them a story about how wonderful our hat is or something. Um, yeah, let's regale you. Oh, I can't do it. It requires a famous story and requires an action point. Oh, I haven't got a famous story. Oh, okie doke. Right, okay, let's not do that then. Let's go and befriend them. Let's see if we can become friends with Gustav. Um, okay, so yeah, we do have quite a lot of these little sort of event pop-up things happening. So you decide to offer a compliment to Gustav Ramirez. Okay, so offer to treat any health conditions. So our medicine skill plus our savoir faire kind of points, that gives us an 18% chance of success. Or... We could recite Shakespeare, expressing your affection for their moral character. So drama, 30 plus savoir faire of 7, is 37% chance of success. Um, I mean, let's go for that. Let's just hit him with some Shakespeare. Will you know who Shakespeare is? I have no idea. Let's have a go. Your attempt to befriend has failed. Oh no. Okay, now he's lost some opinion of us. Okay, that didn't work at all. Hang on. <laughs> Can we try again? Uh, no, we can't do that again. Uh, we can't do any interaction again. Okay, well, there we go. That went that went fabulously well. Um, okay, let's get building. Let's get building. And then, yeah, we'll see where we can go from there. So, yeah, because we only have $600, I think we kind of have to start a little bit small. We have to be sort of on the minimal side, I would say, of what we can build. Because I have no idea how much we're going to make from all this. So, um, hang on. Isn't time... Hang on. Pause time. I thought when that thing was down there, it was pause. Okay, so let's go to the build thing just here. Um, so rooms, I don't think we need. Although there is some lovely wallpaper. Oh, that would be quite nice. It's relatively expensive. We might treat ourselves to some wallpaper. Uh, but what we want is all this stuff here. We want some proper utility stuff. So we need a back bar. And we need a kind of a proper bar at the front. So I think let's get a mahogany back bar. What do those icons mean? So it's a refinement item. It's a storage item. And it's a bonus item. Okay. So yeah, down here are all of our kind of stats for our saloon. So what does that do? That gives us plus 10 to the drink rating. Uh, we get 50 storage and we get plus four refinement. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's get a mahogany back bar and we'll get a mahogany front bar as well, whatever, regular bar. So yeah, here we go. So let's do this. Now I think um, when I did do the tutorial of this, sort of turning things around is a bit fiddly, I'll be honest. It kind of turns in a little sort of way. But there we go. I think if we put the bar right in the corner, if, no, let's put the bar here and then we can have some tables and stuff over there. So we'll put the bar sort of just there. And then we want to go, come out of that. And then we want to go in here and get the mahogany kind of front facing bar, if you like. So let's rotate that. Nope, not that way. Rotate it round. Um, it kind of befits being in a corner, doesn't it? But okay, we'll put it there for now. That will do. I kind of feel like the bar needs to be longer and have another end. Can we put an oh, I suppose we can't put another one, sort of rotate it round because it won't match. Uh, we'll just put that there for now. So there we go. So we have a bar. That is okay. So now I think, yeah, we need to get some drink from the guy next door. And also... We could do with increasing our storage a little bit. I think there are barrels and trunks and things. Um, yeah, okay, how about we buy ourselves... I mean, what does that do? That gives us 50 storage. How much does a trunk give us? That's another 50. Okay, let's have, around the edge of the bar, let's just have a few little kind of storage type items. We'll have a kind of big trunk of stuff there, because these are quite cheap. And then we'll have a barrel. Put a barrel over by that side of the bar. There we go. Wonderful. So we have got some storage. So we can now store 800 things. That should be quite a lot, I imagine. Um, okay, so now we need to get some stuff in. We need to get some, you know, some drink and food in. Uh, and also we need to hire a barkeep because there's nobody doing anything right now. We've got nobody serving drinks. So first things first, why is there another bar over there? Why is there a bar? <laughs> Who put that bar there? Um, okay, hang on. Delete. Can we sell the item? Delete item. Do we get the money back? I don't know if we got the money back or not. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and there's a crate down there as well. Okay. Right. Hang on a minute. I must have misclicked and placed these things. Um, the crate is fine. Hang on. Can we move the crate? Pick up the crate. Can we just put it kind of over? Okay. Hang on. We can't, can't build there. 
Okay, why, why game? Why, okay, right, we're gonna, this is a new feature. This is a crate feature. Um, and people are gonna come from miles around to look at the crate that can no longer be moved. Um, okay, maybe, because I right clicked, maybe if you right click to clear what's on your cursor, it places it down. I don't know, anyway, whatever the case. Um, now let's go and talk to our buddy next door then. So let's buy some crude liquor and then let's buy some game. So let's get a bit of drink and a bit of food. So 200 crude liquor and 200 game. So it's not actually that much to buy the liquor. And now we have to research stuff. Oh, there's a person. Stalin Miller. Um, you can't quite come in for a drink just yet, but hang on, you might be able to come in soon. And um, yes, yeah, so if we go to research, um, there are different things that we can unlock in terms of food and booze. And um, yeah, we kind of have to have things unlocked for people to then buy them from us. So at the moment, we've got crude liquor kind of in our stores, but we haven't unlocked any kind of concept of crude liquor, so we can't sell any of it. So I think let's get this underway right now. So yeah, if we unlock the really pleasant sounding rot gut, <laughs> which is which is lovely, um, that means we can sell some of that crude liquor of the rot gut variety um, for 10 cents a, a pop which is not very good. But then, of course, yeah, you can then unlock all these down here. So you can have rock gut, fire water, tangle leg, <laughs> or panther whittle um, for 40 cents a drink. That sounds quite good. But of course, it takes a long time to unlock. And it's the same for food. It's the same for food. Okay, yeah, let's get the rot gut because, you know, we're a saloon. So let's get, uh, let's get some drink underway. And I think as well, yeah, let's go and get some staff then. So... We've got no barkeeps, cooks, servers, prostitutes, my goodness, croupiers, piano players, or bouncers. I suspect maybe we might need to get at least a barkeep in for now. Um, okay, so this is hiring people from the town. Ah, right, of course, we can't hire people from the town because the town doesn't exist. So I think, yeah, let's go to here. Can we please get ourselves a barkeep? Celia Watson is the only barkeep we have available. Um, it's going to take... $82.65 to relocate her from wherever she lives right now over to us. And then she's going to require a daily wage of $11.40. Okay, she must be very, very good. What's that there? Current and maximum possible skill levels. Oh yeah, she's level 6 and she can get up to level 22, which is why she's quite expensive. Um, but yeah, we haven't got any other options. So we need you to come on board. So do you know what? Yeah, we'll we'll hire you. There you go, Celia. We're a bit down on the money now, but never mind. So I imagine she's going to make her way in, yeah, you know, on a horse or on the train or whatever. Oh, hang on, pause time again. So now uh, it's, oh, hang on, it's a bit dark. Are there lights? Uh, lighting, yeah, okay. Maybe we need to get some lights. I think that might be quite a good idea. How about oh, a fireplace? Let's get a comfortable fireplace. Oh, that looks lovely. Let's get a nice fireplace. I've rotated round the wrong way. Don't put the fireplace on the wrong way. So let's put that over here, I think. If we just tuck that there. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. That looks lovely. Uh, and then we do need some tables. We need some tables for people to sit at and enjoy their drinks. Um, but because this is, whatever we called it, the really lovely place to come and have a nice drink, let's have nice looking things. Let's have some lovely kind of proper tables with a nice tablecloth. And we'll have some cushioned chairs. I like the sound of that. That sounds very comfortable and very nice. So, um, okay. So I think if we have, uh, I mean, does that fit like that? Can we put another one by the bar possibly? I don't know. Because the chairs are going to have to go on that side. Unless we rotate that round and then have that. Can we have one like that? A table there and then a table quite close to the bar. And then, hang on, we don't have to have it that close to the bar. We can put that one there and that one there. And then, let's go and get the chairs. So now we can have the cushioned chairs, which is all very nice. So let's rotate them round. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I need to I need to change the angle. I can't quite... <laughs> oh, the fire's going out. Somebody stick some more wood on the fire. Um, yeah, so cushioned chairs. So let's rotate them round like that. And if we shift, if we shift click, do we build it? Oh, okay, right, hang on. We have to keep turning it round each time. That's a little bit fiddly, isn't it? Okay, right, yeah, okay, turn it round like that and like that. And then, hang on a minute, now I want to turn it round the other way. So, yeah, we'll have like that. 
Very good. And then like that. I kind of feel like we need a window. We need a window. I can't build there. Yes, we can. We can build there now. Are there windows for that in structure? Yes, we can have a window. There we go. A couple of windows over here. That's nice. And then can we have some decorative items? We've got $309. So I think we can have some decor. Uh, oh, oh, there's so much decor. A hat hanger. Yes, okay, right. Hat hanger, very important. We need two of those. <laughs> Everyone needs a place to hang their hat. Thank you very much. Um, there's a mirror. There's a diamond dust mirror. There's some paintings. How about a rug? Yes, a rug for people to trip over on as they come in through the door. That one looks quite bright and nice. Although no one can tell because it's really dark around here. What if we just position that in front of the door? Like that. And then when we actually put some more lights in, we might be able to see what that looks like. Hang on, there were table lights, weren't there? Hang on a second, hang on. Lighting. Tiffany lamp. Okay, plus two refinement. Can we pop those onto the... I've just built another... Right, okay. Okay. When you click on the build menu, it doesn't deselect the item you've got. So now we have two rugs. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, if we get ourselves a, a lamp on the table there and a lamp on the table there. Oh, that lights that corner up very nicely indeed. Oh, I like that. That looks very good. Okay, right. Happy with that. And um, yeah, what other decor is there? Can we just have a nice, like a painting, a framed picture? Let's put, can we have a slightly, oh, hang on a minute, hang on. Put that one in there because that's okay. These aren't too expensive. Uh, clear the cursor thing. Right, can we have a bigger framed picture? 470. I was just thinking it might go above the fireplace quite nicely, but no, it can't go in, over the middle of the fireplace. Right, I can't have that. That'll drive me mad. Um, okay, what else can we have? A large painting? Upright? Oh, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? Hang on, if we put that there, can we move the fireplace? Can we just shuffle that so that painting is sort of central above it? There we go. I quite like that. Okay, so what have we got? Overall, kind of 200, 200 kind of uh, whatever it would be. I don't know, sort of points, sort of saloon points. No fame, because of course we've not opened yet. Refinement's okay. Entertainment. Okay, we need some entertainment. I think there is a thing in here for entertainment. Yeah, there we go. Um, and of course, this is what we're all about. This is what we're all about. Oh, there's a piano. There's proper pianos. Where we can have people playing the jaunty music that can then stop when strangers walk in through the swingy doors. Okay, right, this is very exciting. So, got pianos, gambling tables, dartboards, uh, beds <laughs> for a specific purpose. Um, not necessarily for lying down in all the time. Uh, and then stages, and then an elaborate stage. Okay, so I think, I think we invest a little bit of money in, hang on, is time paused? 7 p.m. I think it's paused when we go into these menus. Um, I think we invest in a piano, definitely, because we want to have that kind of twinkly, jaunty music going on. Um, and then possibly a dartboard. The stage might come later on. Plus 50 entertainment, though. Um, ah, that there, that requires staff. So the piano does require a piano player to go and, you know, tinkle the ivories. Um, okay, the dartboard, however, the dartboard is okay. Let's put the dartboard... Ah, I've got an idea. Okay, let's put the dartboard there. Let's put the dartboard... Mm, okay. <laughs> let's put the dartboard... No, there we go. We put the dartboard there. Well done, us. Right, and then can we move that rug? So there we go. So it's kind of underneath the dartboard. So you can stand here. That's like the hockey. And then you can throw your darts. The only thing is, it is a tiny bit dark over there. It might need some lights going on. Um, we've got candles and we've got wall sconces and we've got chandeliers. Okay, let's put some brass wall sconce things either side of that. Although I can't quite do it. There we go. And then I think let's get a chandelier. And hopefully the chandeliers are high enough to not get in the way of the darts. Let's have brass chandeliers. Oh, that looks very good. Yeah, okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Let's see if we can make it as central as we can. So one there and one there. And then we will hang one over the bar as well, just to make it a bit brighter over the bar. And then let's have one kind of over here, just at the end of the kind of the rug thing as you walk in. Okay, okay, there we go. I think, is that all we want to do? So right click that for now. And um, yeah, so I think when our bar person arrives, when our barkeep arrives, we can get them working behind the bar. Although why is that not quite as 
well lit over there. Um, okay, the main road has been obstructed a mile out of town by an uprising of impassioned suffragettes, women intent on equal rights. It is said they won't move until they have reason to do so. Okay, does this stop our barkeep coming into work? <laughs> or can they, you know, can they get a bike or something? Can they get a bicycle? I'm not entirely sure. How's our research going? Have we researched the rot? We're still researching it. I don't quite know. Four hours, I assume? I don't know. Um, okay, let's move time on a bit quicker. Let's move time on. So yeah, we haven't got a barkeep. So our profits are... We're, we're losing money quite a bit because we haven't got a barkeep. Ah, aha, hang on, hang on. Are you the barkeep? Hello, barkeep. How are you? Right, okay, so... Uh, oh, you look marvellous. Look at you and your splendid hat. Um, okay, Celia, let's have a chat with Celia. Let's try and befriend Celia, shall we? Um, oh, we're terrible at making friends with people. Um, okay, chum, chum with them about the growing markets out east. 22%. Oh, let's give it a go. It failed. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we're not supposed to have friends. Also, the... Um, the sort of the camera tilt thing works in a different way to what I'm expecting. So that's why the camera's all over the place. Let's go and have a chat with Gustav. Um, hello, Gustav. Can we befriend you? 38% chance. Again, let's just chuck some Shakespeare at you. And um, it succeeded. Yay, there we go. So Gustav Ramirez's opinion up. Uh, Pete Ramirez, Wilhelmina Ramirez's opinion up by 20 as well. So I assume that's Gustav's family. I assume Pete and Wilhelmina are, whatever, related to him in some way. Okay, wonderful. Right, he likes us a bit more. That is very good. And I think the price of the beer has come down and the food. I think that is significantly less, which is very good. Um, yeah, okay, so the road is blocked. Uh, right, let's go and do some research, shall we? We need to get some kind of research stuff underway. Maybe food, possibly. Okay, so now we have the rot gut. The rot gut is done, so we can at least serve something to people that might come by for a drink. So that's quite good. However, yeah, let's get food as well. And they can have some food and have some drink. Um, dill pickles or celery. I mean, it's the agony of choice, isn't it? I mean, let's get both in the long run. Let's get dill pickles first. That's going to take 10 hours. I assume that's what that is. Um, abstraction attribute reading time minus 5%. Ah, so if we had a higher abstraction skill, then we'd research things significantly quicker. Okay, okay, that's fine. I don't think we're in any particular rush. Um, so now we just need a customer. I mean, is there anybody else in the in the settlement right now? No. So the train doesn't have a station nearby to us. And I mean, there is there is a road, but it's you know there's not really that many people nearby. There is a little shack over there. Who's that? Hello. So there's something over here. That's the well. That's a well over there. There is a shack over there. <gasps> there's some people. There's some people coming by. Hello. Hello there, Flora King. Would you like to come in for a drink? It's really lovely in here. We've got rot gut. And yeah, if you wait a little while, we might even have some dill pickles for you to snack on as well. Wouldn't that be nice? Okay, let's see if they come in. Let's adjust time. Please come in. Please come in because we need a customer. And there we go. Just get me some rot gut. Absolutely. Absolutely. There we go. Do you know what? Let's have a chat. Let's have a chat with Flora. Let's... um. Uh, why can't we chat with you? Uh, cannot, uh, cannot interact with travellers. Okay, never mind. Never mind. So people that stop by, we can't befriend or whatever, which I guess makes sense because they're going to clear off soon. There's somebody else there. Pete Ramirez. Ah, Pete. Okay. So maybe Pete's going to come in for a drink or possibly Pete's going to go home. Some rot gut, if you'd be so kind. Oh, I like your manners, Pete. Well done. That is very polite. Okay. There is Pete. Ah, ah hang on. He just ordered some pickles. <gasps> We've done the pickle research. Okay, this is good. Let's get celery. Let's get celery research done. Oh, everyone just had a bit of a wiggle in their seat. Yes, there we go. We're actually making some money. <laughs> We've made money. Is this another person coming in? <gasps> Hello, just get me some rot gut. Okay, that's Gustav. That's oh, Gustav. Hello, Gustav. How are you? Can we try to befriend you again? Um, oh, we are we are terrible at these. Um, okay, we can either... Hang on, what if we don't... Oh, hang on a minute. Can we not... Okay, right, now we have to do this. I don't think we can come out of this. <laughs> I think we've made our bed. Now we have to lie in it kind of thing. Um, so we can manipulate them to make them think you like them or challenge them to a friendly game of poker. We're terrible at both of these. Let's do the nice thing and challenge them to a friendly game of poker. There is a 17% chance 
that he's going to like this. I suspect it won't work. Um, yeah, it failed. His opinion comes down a bit. That's no great surprise. Um, can we chat to you? Can we try and befriend you? Oh, no, our action points are exhausted. We've spent three action points already today, and now we can't do anything else. How about we just have a little walk about? Because we can move around. We can go and do stuff. There we go. Somebody else is having some rot guts. Okay, so we are making a little bit of money. I mean, we are losing quite a bit on Celia's wage. We could do with significantly more people coming in. Um, okay, no more action points. Okay, and yeah, the road is blocked. That doesn't help. Um, yeah, Geek Gulch has a town population of four. Town level of one out of four. Town opinion of us is 27%. That's okay. That is okay. That's not too bad at all. And ah, here we go. This is how we try and clear the road. Oh, I see. So we could either go and try and repair the road. So we go out and do some digging. I assume that means. We're going to try and make it a little bit better. Um, so that just generally gets more people in because the road is of a higher quality. Um, and here we have the suffragettes kind of in the way. So we could go and have a chat with them. But okay, we can't do it right now because we have no action points, unfortunately. Okay, move time on nice and quick. Uh, and let's keep an eye on the research. How are we doing with the research? It's nearly done. It's nearly done. I think there's a little icon appear up here when the research is done. Does that finish? People having rock... Okay, so that research is done. Does it cost us money? Does it cost us any money to do the research? Or is it just a thing that we just have to do? Okay, how about then? Let's unlock. Now I've got basic food unlocked. We've got dill, pickles and celery. Um, but I would quite like to get down to... Roasted Jack Rabbit. I don't know who Jack Rabbit is. I assume he's like a local ne'er do well, but he's been caught and he's I know, been turned into meat and we're going to eat him. Um, so let's get pemmican. Um, although I thought, from my Rimworld knowledge, isn't pemmican what you would give to animals? Maybe that's for their horses or whatever. Um, so we'll get pemmican and then we'll get the roast Jack Rabbit and then we'll get fire water. But yeah, let's get some food on the go. So yeah, we'll have pemmican, please. And then yeah, we'll just crank time on nice and quick because it does seem to go pretty quickly so here we go right we'll fly you through the day and see what we can do but yeah our money is coming down we do need some more people i mean these three here are drinking quite a bit which is very nice it's very nice of them time to hit the road farewell farewell whatever your name was <gasps> oh this that please come in please come in you want rot gut would you not like a drink or you well, hang on what's your name uh, Janky Peterson, <laughs> Janky Peterson, and Helen White and Richmond Walker. Stop, stop in, stop by. We've we've got we've got pickles and we've got rot gut, whatever it's called. No, they're not interested. And um, yeah, Chappy there has left as well. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Um, Celia, we can have a chat with you now, can't we? Um, let's. Um, I don't know. We can't entice you because we haven't got a decent opinion. We obviously can't divorce you. We can't propose. We could try and romance you. But I suspect that's not going to go well. Let's try and do the befriend thing again, shall we? Um, oh my goodness me. Okay, we're going to talk to them about the growing markets out east. Even though our chance of success is fairly small. And that failed. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's that's fine. That's okay. Let's go back over to the, um, to the trapper. Have a chat with Gustav. Um... Okay, let's see if we can attempt to befriend you this time. Oh, our chances are so low. Offer them a drink to satiate their thirst. Mixology and self-welfare, 21%. And it failed. We're not having the look of the draw with that, are we? We're not really having much luck with the whole sort of trying to befriend people. I would have thought maybe one of those low sort of chances might have succeeded. But nope, there we go. We're just irritating people. Here comes Tiny James. Um, goodness me, do I ever need some rot gut, she is saying. Do you know what? Okay, move time on nice and quick. We've got rot gut for you here, right here. And we're now charging 12 cents for it. So that's gone up. Why has it gone up? Is it because our overall rating has gone up? So if our overall rating is really high, we can charge more. Okay, Gustav Ramirez is approaching up the road. Okay, he does live next door, so this is kind of to be expected. Uh, stop to chat, nod back as you walk by, make it appear as though you didn't see them, or take a sharp turn between two buildings. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. So, make it appear as though you didn't see them. Drama 35%. Is that not going to annoy them? I want to be friends with Gustav. Uh, we've got 30% chance of nodding as you walk by. I quite like that. 
let's just nod. Let's not make it appear as though you didn't see them. We're supposed to be our buddy. So let's nod. Just give him a nice respectful nod. Uh, ah, there we go. You nod, and they answer with a nod back. Okay, so that could have gone worse. Right, the research is done. Pemmican is done. Let's get Roast Jack Rabbit researched, and then we'll see how we're getting on. We are losing a little bit of money still. Okay, there's some pigs. Here comes a person. Goodness me, do I need some rot gut, says that person. Oh, they're sitting with each other. And it, that person enjoyed it so well that she just got up and left. So long, partner. Okay, cheerio. <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Um, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to get a um, get a, a piano player in. A self-glorified cook enters your saloon and thinks your food could be much better. You are probably absolutely correct. Pay me a modest wage and I will show you a few things. Negotiate a fee and hire him to teach you. Finance is 17%. Or tell him no. I would like to hire them. Can we just do it now? Because if we hire somebody else, then it costs us money to bring them in from the wherever they live. Whereas if you're just willing to join right now. Uh, okay, negotiate a fee and hire him to teach you. There is a 17% chance of this. Uh, which is better than just no, because it might work. Um, fail. For five dollars he spends a day showing you how to increase your cooking skills. But clearly it didn't work, because we spent five dollars and got no cooking skills. It was indeed a calamity of the cupboard. Okay, never mind. Never mind, not to worry. <laughs> we gave it a go, and it wasn't quite to be that time. Um, hang on. Can we? Where was the road thing again? Hang on, where where was it? Um, town. There we go. It was over here. So what if we do this now? What if we try and go to repair the road? Um, yeah, so repair road. Hang on. If we just put time on to... Can't do time. Hang on. Hang on. Time on to normal speed. Oh, the research is done. The research is done. We've researched roast jack rabbit. Okay, now let's get fire water. Let's get some proper booze on the go, look. And, um, and then, yeah, we can charge a bit more money for that. That's got to be a good thing. Okay, right. So town repair road. Uh, initiates event to repair road. Why can't I do that? Or the suffragettes. Ah, right. We can go and talk to the suffragettes. We attempt to clear the road. Okay, this might help. So threaten to bring the full force of the law down upon them. Litigiousness. That is one of your skills. 10%. Attempt to frighten them off by feigning a meltdown. 35%. Or try and have a fight with them. But I haven't got a gun. Okay, let's just... Let's feign a meltdown. Right, you need all your drama skills here, Calamity. Here we go. And that failed as well. We are having awful luck when it comes to the low percentage rolls. We're really, really struggling. Okay, never mind. Are you notice, uh, noticeably tense from all the stress? It might be a good time to take a load off. That or turn to one of your vices. Okay, so now we are stressed out. We've got 26 out of 100 stress. Okay, so... We can go and do a few bits and bobs here to relieve stress. We can we can uh, have some food. We can have a drink. We can uh, do that there with opiates. We can read a good book. I like the sound of that. Uh, we can have some tobacco or we can do that thing. Uh, let's, let's have a good book, shall we? Although we haven't got one. A Bible is required. Do you know what? Let's have a bit of food. Let's have a bit of food. Food is required. Use as an action point. Medicine attribute reducing addiction chance. Oh, let's just have a bit of food. There we go. Our stress has come down ever so slightly. Wonderful stuff. Okay, that will do for now. Um, let's just... Can we go and sit down? No. What's the point of our character being here? Like, why Why are they here? What can they do? Can we just stand outside and welcome people? I don't know. Hello. Bye-bye. See you. Cheerio. See you soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, okay. We are losing money at a rapid rate, but hopefully... If we get the fancy kind of booze unlocked. Come in. Come in, Norman Joseph. No, didn't want to come in for a drink. If we get the fancy drinks unlocked, then perhaps we can then start making some good money, maybe. Um, oh, a shady man sits quietly, hiding his eyes beneath the brim of his hat. Okay, is there going to be a showdown? Uh, as he asks for a drink, he suddenly draws a firearm and tells you to empty your coffers. He says, too bad for you in this town of little renown. The law hasn't made its way this far, out this far even, he says, stumbling over his words. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so agree and give him what he asks for. I mean, if we lose all our money, then that's, that's game over, isn't it? Um, tell him there's more law in a Colt 6 gun than in all the law books combined and attempt to shoot him, but we haven't got a gun. We've got a nice hat. Attempt to charm him out of his attempt to rob you. 
Savile Welfare 15%. Attempt to dissuade him by mentioning how attractive you find him. I love an outlaw. Um, I mean, let's attempt to charm him, shall we? This might be the end. Calamity Cover might get shot and killed here in her saloon. I kind of feel like we haven't really had much chance to get a gun to defend her. But okay, let's try and charm him. Just show him your hat. That'll do the job. Um, okay, this did not work at all. So we got a bit of fame. We got a tiny bit of fame out of that, but we did get injured and we lost $40. Our oh, botherations, we're below $100. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, yeah, so trying to remain calm, you attempt to compliment him with a face like that. You could be kept... What? You could be kept man for any lady or man who would have you, she says, but in a terrible accent. Better than that one. Uh, but he just turns sour and begins to beat you with the butt of his pistol until you're lying in a pool of your own blood. I hope we took the hat off first. Uh, he rummages and finds what money he can and disappears out the front. You are unable to find him afterwards. You may have been robbed, but stories of your courage in the face of danger spreads fast. Ah, that's why we have fame. And now, can we talk to you? And have we got a fame story thing? Can we do that? No, we still don't have a famous story. Let's try and befriend Celia again. 26% about chatting with the markets. Nope. <laughs> I don't know why we bother. Why do we bother with all that kind of stuff? It just doesn't work at all. Um, okay, we are afflicted. Modest wound, 12 hours. A doctor's building is required, but we don't have a doctor. We haven't got a doctor's in the town quite yet. And we have no more action points. Okay, but ah, the research is done. The research is done. Okay, let's get the next level of booze. Let's get Tangle Leg, because we can charge 30 cents a pop for that. Um... Okay, and well, there we go. Let's just run time on. People are kind of popping in. That person's after fire water. This is encouraging because now they're drinking the more expensive stuff. So, okay, a rancid heat wave is causing a grand disturbance to the local townspeople's sleep, causing many to carry out their days in a trance-like state. Oh, our stats look awful for dealing with any of this. Okay, so I suggest placing dried mud between the wood planks of their homes to cool the interiors. That's actually quite sensible. Make drinks to keep them hydrated at night. Pray for the end of this damned heat wave or let them suffer. Um, I mean, we have a higher chance of of this, of this working. Make them some drinks. Mixology, 13%. I mean, it's a paltry, a paltry success chance. And I imagine, given our look so far, this will not succeed. But um, I kind of think that's what we do, given that we own a tavern that wants to ply people with drinks. So let's make drinks to keep them hydrated. Oh, it fails. There you go. You mix tonics, but all they do is make them drink, um, make them drunk with mouths parched. They are worse than before. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay. So the opinion of us, of the people around the town, actually went down. Hang on. If we pause it. So also, this is a saloon game. It's a saloon game. We're out in the Wild West. There's cowboys coming in, all that kind of stuff. Um, if we just looked at this <laughs> and just looked at that picture, you wouldn't necessarily think it was a saloon. You might think it was a lovely, cosy cafe. <laughs> I quite like that. There's a fireplace and a picture and you know, some tables with tablecloths and comfy chairs. Put some tea on the table and you'd be fine. I assume we can't unlock tea, sadly. Okay, so now we've unlocked Tangle Leg. So that gives us, what's that? Another bit of drink rating. So that's good. So now let's get our food rating up. Uh, wild goose or quail. I don't know, wild goose. That sounds nice. A poor woman seems deplorably homesick for her family out east. As is expected of a barkeep, you do your best to cheer her up. Savoir fair 14%. We're not the barkeep. You do realise that. We're not the barkeep. We have a barkeep to do barkeeping stuff. What are we paying them for? Um, okay, fine. We'll try and do this, this thing which is going to fail at 14%. Oh, it's failed. <laughs> okay, uh, you tried, but you only served to make her even more homesick after asking about where she's from. She cries and leaves in a mess. Oh, Calamity. Oh, dear. You are living up to your name, Calamity, anyway. Um, right, can we have a chat with Gustav? Let's try and befriend Gustav. One of these has got to work one day. Let's chat with him about the markets. Is it going to fail? Um, oh, it's failed. What a surprise. <laughs> Stress is beginning to mount, uh, causing tension throughout your body. If you don't go on top of this soon, it's bound to get worse. Okay, right. So we're now stressing out. Hang on. Let's bring... Nope, that's not that. Hang on. How do we bring the speed down? There we go. Ah, however, however, research is done. So we've researched wild goose. Let's research quail. Let's go down here. Broiled squirrel. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. I'm okay without the broiled squirrel. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so we'll go down that route. You want to come in. 
Pete Ramirez, come in for a drink. Come in for a drink. Some fire water, if you'd be so kind. We presumably have some of that lying around somewhere. We might need to buy a bit more booze, actually. Uh, let's buy a bit more. I mean, yeah, look, it's gone up again now because he doesn't like us so much anymore because we keep failing to talk to him. Um, let's buy another 200 crude liquor for... Is it all it is? Six dollars. That's, that's really cheap, isn't it? Isn't that incredibly cheap? Uh, and yeah, we've got plenty of food. So now we're stocked up on... Um, on sort of booze as well. Okay, we have three townspeople and we can now go and have a chat with all of them. We've got our three kind of action points back. Let's go and see if we can't go and annoy all of these three people. So, okay, Gustav Ramirez. Here we go. Let's try and befriend you. Pick the highest one. Inspire them to embrace their natural gifts and realise their full potential. There's a 37% chance of this succeeding. Do we think it's going to work? Absolutely not. Oh my word, it did. It actually worked. That is shocking. And we got plus four leadership with that, I think it said. Okay, so now let's chat to Pete. Okay, so let's have a chat with Pete and try and befriend Pete. Um, okay, we can either have a deep intellectual conversation or we can offer them some food. Okay, let's offer them some food. And that failed. Of course it did. And then let's have a chat with uh, Wilhelmina. Hello, how are you? 41% chance if we try and inspire them to embrace their natural gifts and realise their full potential. And of course it failed. Okay, right, yeah, we don't, we don't, we're not having much luck with that. We're not having much luck with that. And we are stressing out a bit. Um, we have no action points left. So we might have to wait until tomorrow before we can actually try and sort of de-stress a little bit. Um, but yeah, money is running out. Money is running out. Stress level is high. Uh, but research is looking good. Hooray, we've got the quail. Uh, let's get partridge. That's going to take ages, but that's fine. It's okay. We're in no rush. I suspect maybe we might be out of business at some point soon because the money just isn't coming in quick enough. We're just not getting enough people through the doors. I don't think. Have we ever been full? I mean, at the moment, there's four people in. Now there's three people in, but, but now there's two people in. Bye-bye. <laughs> Here comes another person. Oh, hang on, hang on. What did that person say? Did they just say, I'm going to put, I'm going to put water on your pants or something? What? Okay, there's no need for all that. There's no need for there's no need for shenanigans, thank you. And now we're down to just one patron again. Oh no, but there's more people coming in. It's just not they're not coming in quick enough. Because of course we're paying a wage. We're paying a wage to the barkeep there. Um Okay, okay, it's fine. Maybe we don't need the barkeep. I mean, do we need do we need the staff? We've got one barkeep, but what do they do? I mean, obviously they serve them drinks, but I mean, they're not actively no one's going to the bar. And the barkeeper isn't taking them drinks. So I'm not entirely sure what they do. However, we have seven people in right now. And possibly, if that keeps ticking up, there's eight people. We're at capacity. We might actually, no, we're not anymore. We might make a bit of profit. Look at that. We've made $1.48. We've made $2.86. Keep drinking, everybody. Keep drinking. Some people have left. We're actually making a profit. Okay, that's very exciting. Uh, you catch your hand on the corner of the bar and get a sliver in your hand so deep it has gone infected. Okay, we've got a 7% chance of this working. What do you think, everybody? And really? Okay, that actually worked. I am I am surprised. I'm flabbergasted. My flabber is well and truly gasted. Uh, thankfully, within several hours, the infection seems to have gone away. Oh, well done us. Well, that was impressive. And we're making money as well. Oh, this is marvellous. We might have to invest in another table at some point. That would be wildly exciting. In fact, you know what? We are full. We are at capacity right now. I think possibly getting another table in is going to be a very sensible idea. Because if somebody comes in and then can't sit down, that's a little bit rubbish, isn't it? So how about we get another table? We'll put it over here and we will put a nice lamp with it. The only thing is, how expensive are those tables? So nine pounds. So let's round it up to ten. So ten quid for the table and then... What's that? So let's round that up to seven for the chair. So seven forty mass with pen. So seven times four is twenty-eight. Plus the ten is thirty-eight. So already we're gonna be down to hardly any money. Plus a lamp on it is gonna be forty-one-ish. Yeah, that leaves us with no money to do anything at all. Yeah, maybe we can't have another table. Can you all just drink a lot of drink, please? That'd be really good. And eat all of the lovely food and then give us a great big pile of money. That'd be nice. Thank you. Oh hang on, they can come in. People can come in if there are no seats. They just stand up. 
They just stand up and have a drink. Um, okay, a brawl breaks out in your saloon due to you not having enough muscle to contain the situation. And our only response is to go, botherations. Okay, all of your customers flee out the door. It's a disaster. Okay, I don't know who is brawling, but that, that was not good at all. Okay, that's not helped matters. Um, however, right, hang on, let's get some more research done. Let's get, uh, let's get the broiled squirrel, why not? Um, yeah, let's do, let's look after ourselves. Let's have a bit of food. So let's see if we can bring our stress down. So 66, let's have a bit of a drink. You know, we'll have a nice, uh, a nice cup of tea with a bit of, uh, I don't know, mead in it or something. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And now we're down to one action point. Um, yeah, we can't read a book. Let's just have another bit of food. Let's have some cake to go with the tea. And there we go. Wonderful stuff. Now we have no action points. And we are addicted. We're addicted to cake, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the wild, wild west where our character finds herself addicted to some lovely Victoria sponge. A new house has been built. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go to citizens. Uh, okay, the Edwards. Okay, houses. Yes, we have the Edwards family. Let's go and say hello to uh, Beethoven Edwards. That is a much better name than Dung Smith. Sorry if you called Dung out there, any listeners. Um, yeah, let's have a chat with you. You look familiar. Good hat. Um... Okay, let's do the Shakespeare thing. Here we go. Is it going to work? It did work. Okay, that's good. And we get plus four drama skill as well. Okay, this is very, very good. Right, now in terms of research, let's research the final level of booze. The panther whittle. <laughs> Just research that. We might possibly go out of business before then, but never mind. Smoke rises from the house belonging to Beethoven Edwards. Um, it That has caught fire. Oh no, it that has caught fire. Um, okay. Muster whomever is around to bring water. Leadership, 38%. We've got to try it. We've got to try it. Okay, here we go. Can it work? Success. Oh, that's very good. Hurriedly, many of the townspeople gather their buckets and fill them with what water they have. You'll rush to the house and collectively put out the flames, managing to save most of the house. The owners are very grateful. So Geek Gulch opinion goes up by five. Beethoven Edwards opinion goes up by five. So we just essentially saved his house, his newly built house, from burning down into oblivion, and he likes us a tiny, tiny bit. Yet when we go and chat with him, and talk to him about the financial markets, whatever, he really likes that. Okay, fine, okay, that's that's a thing that just happened there. Never mind, at least we saved somebody's house from burning down, that's quite good. Let's go and have a word with the suffragettes again. Suffragettes, can you please go away? We must be able to succeed in one of these. A 42% chance of reasoning with them now, because of our leadership. Come on, 42%. And it failed. Of course it did. Okay, fine. We'll try again tomorrow. Let's go and have a chat with Gustav again. Let's see if we can become slightly better friends with him. Here we go. Have we got any good options? No, we haven't. Let's talk about the markets. The... Oh my word, it succeeded. Plus 20 opinion. Okay, okay. So now, yeah, we have 44 opinion, uh, which does mean that our, our drink costs are really, really down. 292 now. That's really good. That's very good. Uh, do you know what? We might need to buy some more food, actually. Do you know what? Let's stock up on... Oh, we can't stock up. I haven't got enough action points. Oh, botherations. Okay, fine. Right, let's wait until the end of the day. And then maybe we'll stock up on some... Uh, we'll stock up on some crude liquor as well, possibly. Oh, I've just noticed something that's really quite appalling indeed. So down here, we have our list of kind of food items. And we've got ourselves, we've got some game, we've got grain, we've got light meals, we've got heavy meals, we've got desserts, we've got opium, it's not necessarily a meal. And then down here, we've got cigars. Again, not a meal, but yeah, it's one of our sort of luxury item things. And then just here, we've got coffee, but there's no tea. I mean, that's just outrageous. That is completely outrageous. We're going to open up a little tea shop. That's what we need to do. That's how we're going to make our fortune out here in the Wild West, by serving tea. And yeah, we're going to make it work. We might have to possibly open up another saloon at some point because we are sort of running out of money a tiny, tiny bit there. Um, although, although we are... Hang on, hang on. How much are they paying for the partridge? They're paying a good amount of money for the partridge, although right now we have 37 cents to a name, $1.29 to a name. Yeah, I suspect maybe we are going to go bankrupt at some point very, very soon. I mean, I think... I think we did, I think we did this right. I don't think we went completely overboard with everything. We've got, you know, a place to serve drinks and a bar. We've got some storage, a couple of tables and, you know, some chairs to go with them and a relatively small amount of decor. I mean, I could have gone a lot crazy with the decor, 
But um, but yeah, it's not it's not happy. It's not happy at all. Hang on, right? Let's do a bit of research. We've got the panther whittling. Let's get the wild turkey. Let's get wild turkey, and then if the game is going to end soon, let's go and have a final chat with the suffragettes and see if we can't make them go away. Right here we go. Let's try and reason with them again. Another forty three percent chance of success. Look, just show them your hat. Look impressive, and it's failed again. Okay. <laughs> Oh, and this is brilliant news. This is amazing news for us because we are addicted to cake. A baker has set up. A baker has arrived in town to begin providing delicious grains and desserts, foodstuffs hard to come by in the Western Frontier country. It's certain that your clientele would appreciate this most welcome addition. Okay, you're so stressed, it feels like the ground is doing something. Okay, yeah, hang on a minute. And there is the baker. The baker has opened up next door to us, and I assume we go to them, and we can buy grains, and we can buy desserts. But I guess now, that's another research thing, is it? Is that another research thing? Oh, yeah, look, down here, we now have grains that we need to research, and we have desserts. Oh, I see, and then we have to buy them in from the bakery, and they are different things that people can buy. Okay, I like that. Do you know what? I do like the fact that the town builds itself. You're not kind of moving into a town that already exists. You kind of get to see the very slow sort of construction of a little Wild West town. And eventually, I imagine, over time, the road improves and you get more buildings. And there's going to be, you know, sort of hardware shops. And there's going to be like a place that sells, you know, cigars and whatever kind of tobacco stuff. And there's going to be other kind of houses and things setting up. And there'll be a doctor's and there'll be, there's got to be an undertaker's along here that sells coffins because yeah that's kind of a that's a standard thing isn't it that's a wild west thing so um yeah i like the fact that we do get to see the sort of the little sort of wild west town appear and kind of build up from nothingness but um but yeah we're currently what 21 dollars 26 down the money is not coming in at all quick enough i'm not entirely sure what we could have done if i'm honest to make it kind of go any better. I don't think we've kind of overspent on anything ludicrous. I don't think we've kind of you know, blown all our money on decor or whatever. I do think we did this relatively modestly. But um, yeah, the money just hasn't been coming in. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's Celia. Maybe we didn't need to hire a barkeep. Although then who's going to serve them the drinks? And we only had one choice of barkeep. So we're kind of a little bit stuck in that situation. So, Jay, you know what? I think we will finish things up for now because, yeah, we've had a very good look at the game and we can see how it is kind of progressing and moving on and such like. It's clearly not worked out. I think perhaps a little bit of balancing might be quite helpful with that because, you know, just we just didn't have enough people coming in. We didn't have enough people coming in and, um, yeah, we just could not make the money. Or possibly maybe the barkeep was too expensive maybe maybe we should have fired the barkeep but then yeah i don't know what happens then does everyone just sit around saying can i have a drink please and there's nobody over here i'm not entirely sure um one thing i'm not really sure of that the tutorial didn't really sort of explain is um what we do like we're here look and, and it's wonderful we can just go hello look here we are we're wandering about and we're doing some stuff we i can walk around i don't know what the point of this is I don't know why we need to have a controllable character because we can't seem to interact with anything. We don't do anything. We don't go, I mean, can we go and play some darts possibly? But but no, we just we just don't do anything. So I don't quite know what the point is. You can click on the people, but yeah, we can do that when we're paused. So it, you don't go over to them or anything. So it's a bit of a weird one that. Oh, here we go. Look, it's all, it's all appearing now. A butcher. Your more carnivorous customers are sure to welcome the butcher, having come west, seeking opportunity and profit feeding hungry pioneers. They are sure to provide both light and heavy meat. Makes you hungry just thinking about it. Unless you're not one for meat, that is. Okay, next. And now we've got a butcher setting up next to the bakers. We've got the butcher and the baker and there'll be a candlestick maker somewhere, I'm sure. But there we go. There we go. But yeah, we'll finish up for now because yeah, I think we have had a very, very good look at what is going on. It's a shame it's not sort of turned out right, but I'm not 100% sure what we could have done to get things going any kind of better. So yeah, maybe just a bit of game balancing. Maybe I've missed something really crucial and key or something. I don't know. That's entirely possible. But there we go. Never mind. It's been a lot of fun. And yeah, we'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep an eye on this and maybe at some point we will pop back when it's a little bit more kind of polished and a bit more balanced and there's a little bit more going on and such like. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I like the idea. I like the concept. And it has been fun creating our sort of little 
Wild West Cafe, if you like, <laughs> which is all very nice. Look at that. That is lovely. It's a little cafe out in the Wild West. Enjoy your tea and cakes and scones, everybody. They are delicious. But yeah, we shall finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick. <laughs>